Hi guys, and welcome to Two Ordinary Nerds, a podcast where two ordinary nerds talk about all the latest shows, movies, games, and everything nerdy. For today's episode, we're going to talk about future events or future things that we like about. I'm Daniel Arvaisa, and next to me is my co-host, Louis Booth. Something we do in this podcast is that every episode we drink one or three beers. Typically, it might be three. It might be four. You never know. It could be a good day. It could be a six-pack. It could be a six-pack. So, today, I'm drinking on a Leinen Kugel's Oktoberfest. Not to be mistaken what I drank before. I drank another Oktoberfest. Some of you might remember. It was called Sam Adams Oktoberfest. This is from a different company. Daniel, what are you drinking on? I'm, lo- I'm drinking a local beer. It's called Kansas City uh, Craft Brewers, and it's the Pale Ale. I re- I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and... Kansas City makes just good beers. Fuck yeah, we do, man. Mm -hmm. Now that we know what we're drinking, it's time to talk about what gets us excited about the fall. Alright, let's get into it. Time. So it's getting to the fall. We're gonna start talking about things basically fall and Christmas. I'm I'm assuming that are, are, are what we're excited about. And um, we're not gonna go to jump. We're not gonna jump in 2017. We'll let that for some other podcast. But I don't know. Let's talk about movies. What movies do you like? Do you like? Are you fucking? You're tickling yourself for? Oh, well, I am uh, definitely touching myself over Doctor Strange. I'm quite excited for that movie just because I'm. Interested to see how they intertwine it with the what what's going on already in the the cinematic universe of Marvel. I wonder if they're going to throw in you know have any cameos from any of the other Avengers. If they're going to do anything, you know, who I, else is going to be? I don't in think it? there's not going to be any cameos during the movie, but for sure there's going to be a cameo at the end, the, or second, yeah, yeah. yeah, and or second credits. I am also excited for the Strange. I've been reading quite a bit of it. I just want it to be psychedelic. Like completely psychedelic. I want it to be trippy. I want it to be like weird and Doctor Strange that you're like almost feels you're uncomfortable. Yeah. Because that's Doctor Strange. It's it's magic in the world of superheroes where he's the first one introducing magic. I hope it's good, but it could turn out to be a flop too. Just because it's such a weird. Yeah. It character. looks kind of like what was that Christopher Nolan movie that came out? Inception. It looks like Inception a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was like I agree with that with when they. Worlds were churning like yeah. that. It, it reminded me of that. I mean, I'm excited for Magnificent Seven. Also, that movie looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. I saw today they had some choppy reviews. Really, thirty six percent. But I don't know. It's one of the, It could be one of those movies that the critics hate, but you know, the public generally you know, probably loves. It should, it's coming out pretty soon, isn't it? It comes out in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this week or next week. Uh, we, we should definitely go and see it, and we will give you guys our thoughts. <coughs> Um, I don't know. A western? Like, uh, you think it's like? I think it'll be fun to watch. I'm sure there's not really. It's the story's been done before, so I'm sure it's, a it's remake. Gonna, yeah, it's just gonna be a remake. I'm sure it'll be cool, but I'm feeling like the hey, Chris Pratt is now showing up and everything, and he more or less always has like that, you know, stupid guy or comedian. Like, oh, he's serious, but he's comedian at yeah. the same time. I um, hope he doesn't get still in the same place because he had Jurassic Park where he was like the... the he didn't really have comedy in that movie that much, though. He, he was really he, serious. He had some jokes. But he he always does that. He has like that, you know, the same as Garrison in the Galaxy. He's yeah. more than serious, but he, he's the, com- the comedic relief. Yep. And I hope he, you know, see him doing something else than always the, the same thing. I'm also excited about Hawksaw Ridge. It's... Yeah, the, that looks pretty good. That new Mel Gibson movie yeah, about the like, love me again, Mel Gibson. <laughs> so for those who don't know, Hacksaw Ridge is about a person. I'm a history nerd, so basically it's about a soldier who, because of his religious beliefs in World War II, did not want to use his weapon. He didn't fight. All he did was save lives. Yeah, he was the first person to win a blue purple a purple heart a blue purple heart a purple heart. With, without touching a weapon, without being a non-combatant soldier. Yep. 
So it should be a good movie. It says this is going to bring Mel Gibson back in their homes after all his racist remarks. I'm going to bury you under the the roses. <laughs> exactly. He's fucking crazy, but he's still awesome. Yeah, so he does that. I know he's doing uh, the, was it the Passion 2. Yeah, he was thinking about making the Passion 2. <laughs> the Passion 2, Jesus is risen. Ah. Coming from the cave, walking every on I, water. You every, thought, time, every time I hear that. <laughs> I am, have you seen the South Park episode where Jesus is, has the ninja store? Yeah, and yeah, it's Armageddon and Peter. It's, no, it's not Peter. It's is it American Dad or is it Family Guy that there's Jesus comes back and it's a it's like apocalyptic. I have not. And Jesus comes back. Oh, it's American Dad. Jesus comes back. So basically, it's about American Dad and this Armageddon, and you know, you know, the apocalypse comes in and everything is destroyed. So Jesus comes back, takes Stan's wife. He starts dating her and, and Stan becomes a mercenary. But then the devil takes away his his ex wife and Jesus comes and asks him for help. So <laughs> both of them have to go there and it's like That's funny. Typical nineties movie movie. Another thing I'm excited about another movie that I'm excited about is Arrival. I don't know if you know it's it's about this it's aliens so that come to Earth and they got get this have you seen the trailer? Yeah. It's about a girl who needs to uh, interpret their language and try to talk to them. Uh, it seems interesting. It seems something different. Sci-fi. Hopefully they, you know, hopefully they make a good movie out of it because it seems interesting. Even though I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, yes, because this is a nerd, uh, you know, this is a nerd podcast. I will say we will watch Fantastic Beasts. It's, I mean, it's, it's a must. I know my wife likes Harry Potter, so I'm probably gonna be dragged into it. But so far, so good. And the last one, even though it's a bit weird, it's called The Founder. It's about the McDonald's, how they, the McDonald's restaurant, how they got into the business. Yeah, it's basically... I haven't heard that. Mm-hmm. It's, Is that the one with, uh, I think it was Beetle, Michael Keaton, the Beetlejuice guy, uh, and Batman. I think so. Okay, yeah, I, I have seen that preview. That does look interesting. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting movie. Uh, I can call right now that Hawks Are Rich will win an Oscar. For sure. And Fantastic Beast will probably be nominated, but it won't win for an Oscar for special like effects or yeah, or graphics. But that's pretty much what I'm excited for movies. So is there anything else that you're excited in movie-wise? No, more so focused on TV. TV, yeah. Fall is the best time for TV. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's when all the good stuff comes back. It's tall and maybe late spring normally is the two. Yeah. Except Thrones isn't coming back in like spring. It's going to be in the summer now. I know. It's going to be weird. It's going to be all hot outside and it's going to be like all wintry there. They should have done it backwards. They should have started in the summer where it's all hot and they start playing it to to the winter, you know? Getting closer. Oh, that would have been a good idea. So when it's when it's snowy outside, you can be in your blanket watching Jon Snow like knees deep in snow. And the White Walkers. Mm-hmm. A crowd for a king. The king of the north. They actually said that uh, I think Jason Momoa might actually be and Khal Drogo might be in there again this season. Like a flashback? I think so. That could be. Because he's in Ireland right now with them. They they were in Belfast having a beer together and that's not where they're filming Justice League. So How funny would it be if he he basically was like, I'm not dead! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I didn't die. You think you could smother me with a pillow, you bitch? <laughs> These are my dragons now. Come here, puppies. <laughs> They're dragons, not puppies. Shut up. <laughs> oh, call Drogo, star. you abusive person, you. Well, at the beginning he was, and then he turned out to be... He, he a fun-loving guy. He, was, he started being the abuser and ended up being abused. He, yeah, Khaleesi because, did abuse him. He's like, but please, bite the, bite, bite the pillow. Bite yeah. the pillow. <laughs> I don't want to. So what shows... Are I mean, let's be honest, the first one obviously is Walking Dead. Really? Walking Dead is what I'm more most excited about. I'm really excited about uh, Sherlock is coming back. For those who don't know, Sherlock is a show with the British? Benedict Cumberpatch. Cumberpatch? It's not Patch. So it's the British version. Right? Yeah, the British version. That show is coming out uh, later this fall slash winter, so I'm pretty stoked about that. That's what, one of my favorite shows. What season is it? Is it like the fourth? Fourth, yeah. And then I'm really excited for Luke Cage. Any of these Marvel shows that show up on the, the Netflix are always really good. And this is getting really good reviews already. So I hope Luke Cage is good. Uh, he's not one of my top 
every time I came up with characters, uh, I always tend to find heroes for hire a bit boring. I don't know, he has that, uh, I don't know if it's his powers or what it is, but there's something I just quite don't like. I always enjoy his interactions with... But I wasn't really a fan of Daredevil or Jessica Jones yeah, or any of those people before we before these Daredevil has came a out. lot of good comics out there. Yeah. And Jessica Jones is not. She's She will be and always will be a second tier character. Jessica Jones had one good book, and that's the Purple Man's book, and that's what basically put her there and gave her like a story. But Luke Cage and and same with Iron Fist. I'm just, I maybe maybe says I don't like the comics as much. I'm more like a different approach. But hey, Marvel's done good so far, so I'm not gonna criticize. All these shows are good. I mean, I've never, never, I don't have any complaints. Talking about, I'm, I'm. I'm excited for Walking Dead too, Lewis. Oh, I know Daniel. You should be. I'm excited for Flash. I like that show. It's lighthearted. It's fun. I don't watch any of the DC shows, so... Oh, you should. You should. I like Flash, and I like Gotham. Those are two shows oh, I, that I like to watch. I do watch Gotham. I like Gotham. Gotham, the new one, is going to be the Court of Owls. I don't know if have you read that book. I have not. Well, the Court of Owls, basically, is one of the... It is, um, it's an organization that basically controls Gotham. Okay. He, the other responsibles that killed Batman's grandfather. Grandfather was found murdered. Or not, not murdered, killed. He was, he was found dead. And the Court of Owls... A basically did it. They have a basically like a super villain that they train and they have that is almost in par fighting skills with Batman. Okay. So it should be good. I'm interested to know what they're gonna do because they cannot really they, nobody can know the core of how it exists because that's the point of the Batman storyline. But they, they're sitting there talking about it, so I'm not sure how is that gonna go. I kind of hope they eventually just say screw it, and if the ratings start dropping, they just jump and just make him like jump a few years and then there's Batman mm-hmm. I think it would be really cool to just make a Batman TV show because we always get these movies but why don't they just have I think it would be cool if they had a Batman TV show like a DC Universe and they well they have the, they have, they have Supergirl they got Superman now but they don't have Batman they don't have Batman if Batman joined that I would actually probably watch it but that could be. I mean, but Batman is one of those things that DC is their pride precision. It's like almost like Spider Man and stuff like that with Marvel. They just won't release it as uh, on the TV show like that, just because it, a bad TV show could ruin Batman. Like the sales, like oh my god, Batman is so stupid. Marvel. Well, I wouldn't doing say that. that that's true because Batman and Robin was a horrible movie, including their their nipple yeah, and it took vests. and it took them like. 10 years to make a second one, to make um, another movie. Like, a, a bad TV show can... I'm not saying it's going to be completely destroyed. It's money-wise. A bad TV show can make Batman's uh, comics go less because kids are saying that... Who see the, the show are like, nah. But if you see the, t- the movies, they're like, oh my God, he's so cool. Let's buy the comics. That's what I mean. Not saying that he will... Nobody's going to care about Batman because people will always care about Batman. But... I don't know. I mean, they do like Batman movie. I'm not much out. I'm in. Do you ever watch Agents of Shield? I do. I am. I religiously watch that show. Yeah. Ghost Rider kind of. Kind I know. Of but it's not excited. gonna be Nicholas Cage Ghost Rider. No, it's Ghost the Rider. modern. There's a modern twist on Ghost Rider. They have a new version where he drives in a hot rod vehicle, and he yeah. he is. I guess his brother or something gets killed. And he's out to venge him. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a new character in the comics too. That just showed up. He doesn't work, he doesn't drive a motorcycle. He drives a car. And I think if I haven't read it, but I think he is some sort of uh, Mexican American. He is, if I'm not mistaken. So it's it should be fun. One of our favorites is South Park. It's coming back home. Yeah, I'm very excited for South Park. The last Maybe, season was amazing. Yeah, it comes out this Wednesday. Is it? Yeah. So does American Horror Story. I've never gotten into America. I never. Well, I never got into it. I've never seen that episode. What is it about? Uh, every season's different. They just have like a different twist. Like the first season was about a haunted house. Second season was about an asylum. Third season was about a witch coven. Fourth was a witch coven. Yeah, oh, that sounds interesting. And then a fourth, the fourth season was a carnival one, which that season sucks. Um, and then the so they're independent. Fifth, so there's five, six seasons. This will be the sixth. And, but yeah, every season's they're eventually gonna tie together, but they're all individual seasons. <clears throat> oh, last season was about a haunted hotel. Huh. 
That's cool. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that show. So is it scary or is it not scary? Is it like Walking Dead scary? Mm-hmm. Like it has this uh, jump moments, but the, uh, overall it's more about the people. I'd say it's more about the people, but I would say if I were talking like horror wise, I would say American Horror Story is definitely a little scarier than Walking Dead. Like kids can watch some of Walking Dead or can. American Horror Story, I would never show that to a child because that show is pretty horrific. Would you recommend it like for a Halloween? Oh yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. It's on Netflix if anybody wants to watch the first five seasons and then the sixth season starts this Wednesday the 14th. What or I'm, no, yeah, tomorrow. What I'm really excited is Son of, Son of, Son of, Son of Thorn. Have you seen the commercials? What is that? Like a cartoon in line. real life? Is and that that one? Yeah, yeah and it has like the guy comes with like a hawk and says, "Here, this is your new ride." And then the mom is like, "No, you can't have it." And the guy just takes the sword and just sinks it in the <laughs> hawk's throat and kills it. And he's like, "Well, no, we're gonna have it now." It's it seems it seems it's gonna be like a South Park type of thing. But when does it, that start? It's the date is. Let me check. Dun, 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 dun. This is a chicken music. Son of Thorn. I think it's going to be stupid, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, speaking of stupid, I'm pretty excited about Brooklyn 99 coming back for their third season. I like that show a lot. I've never seen it. It's like The Office, but it's a cop comedy. And it has Terry Crews and... Andy Sandberg in it. It's pretty funny. September 25th. Okay, so next week. So yeah, it's just out. And that goes to par with Bob's Burgers coming out. Bob's basically. Burgers is pretty good. I always enjoy it. If nobody's seen Bob's Burgers, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, it's good to Netflix. I think most of the seasons are on Netflix already. It's a fun show. I like football, so I'm excited about football too. I know Lou is not a, a big fan. College basketball. But I think we we won't we wouldn't be just do justice if we don't say if we don't come back to Walking Dead and let Leo for like ten seconds or whatever how much time it is like why is he so excited about this show? I'm pretty excited about it just because Negan's my favorite character. No matter what, Negan. a lot of people are gonna a lot of people are gonna be pissed off because he's gonna kill off one or two main characters. Who knows? We no one knows what's gonna happen. But machine gun and yeah, he's gonna just anybody that kills all of them. <laughs> it's the Negan no, no, show. It's fucking <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, they make it a comedy. Fall with Negan, he's the best. Fuck with him and he'll rip out your chest. Um, Don't you dare whisper at me. <laughs> Don't you dare whisper. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm I'm more excited to see who he's gonna club to death. But yeah, I mean either way, this is gonna be a good season because. Last season was kind of slow, and now they're up. They're picking up the pace. It's going to be nothing but nonstop. And then Shiva's in it, the tiger from Walking Dead. I'm stoked to see that. Shiva, that's her name. Yep. Sounds like some bad weed. <laughs> yep. Shiva, the bad weed tiger. <laughs> Last show I'm excited for coming back, which I'm almost caught up on, is Supernatural. Is it still going? Yeah. Damn. It's season twelve. I know. It's, I love that show because it, it's it's based in Lawrence. Like they live in Lawrence. Yeah. And that's Kansas. For who doesn't know, we are from Kansas City. But they don't fucking film there. They film in Canada. I'm like, what are you doing? I know they wear like Jayhawk stuff and. No, I've never seen them wear any Jayhawk shit. Yeah, they talk about it. They say they in the first in the beginning in the few first seasons they say. How the KU Jayhawks basketball is good, and they're like. I just about watched it. the first few seasons, and they never said it. Mm-hmm. I think so. I'm pretty sure. I just watched. I'm on. I just started season five. I'm pretty sure you're wrong about that because I would have been excited, like super excited. What else are you excited about? I am excited. Oh, I'm excited for uh, Doctor Who Christmas special that'll be coming out, and Doctor Who will be coming out next year. I'm. So let's see, season five, Supernatural. That's season five. Two days for the Jayhawks game. See, they mentioned him, but not yet. I'm not. There I'm just yet. saying. I'm saying quotes. I'm just saying quotes. There, there are a lot of Jayhawks quotes and references. Maybe you don't notice them because they're not yet. Not yet, but they, they have, know. That's season five. I am on the second episode of season five. So well, there you go. there's 23 episodes. When you see it, you're gonna be like, oh my god. Um, I will recommend. 
it's not a TV show per se, but uh, a podcast called, or not podcast, it's an audio drama. I've mentioned it before, but it's called uh, We're Alive. That's pretty, it's pretty good. I would recommend people listen to it. They're almost at 50 million downloads, and they're going to release something. They're saying, oh, we're going to release some news. I'm hoping they're like, oh, we're going to make a TV show, because it would be really good. Like, compared to Walking Dead... This show has an end to it, and it's really good. There's a lot of difference. Yeah, I, like, There's, I like Walking Dead. You do? Because you've been bitched about it. Well, right? I like Walking Dead, I like, and I like Talking Dead. Dead. So you, you don't want to do like a Talking Dead sort of thing? When? Now? No, the oh. podcast you were talking about. Like maybe a TV show, like a Talking Dead type of, type of deal? Oh, I mean, we'll talk about Walking Dead. It will be briefly touch on the episodes when they come out. Uh, we, I'm still watching... Fear the Walking Dead, but we're only going to talk about the first episode and the last, because really, it's not that pertinent. So I'm excited. I mean, it's a good show. Like, this week's episode is pretty good, but it it's not as pertinent as Walking Dead. Walking Dead is crucial to talk about. Do we, you normally watch Walking Dead and Walking Dead right after Talking Dead, or is it one of those things that you sometimes watch Talking Dead and sometimes don't? No, I watch Talking Dead. Uh, so Fear the Walking Dead, I don't watch Talking Dead that much. I mean, I do if the guests are good. Oh, they, but, they have it too? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But if it's, if for Walking Dead, I watch, I will watch every episode of Talking Dead also. Talking about Talking Dead, have you watched the Game of Thrones version? No. It's garbage. Yeah. It's, it really is Funny horrible. story is that, for those who don't know, Chris Hardwick is the host of, of Talking Dead, well, I guess the one of the hosts of the Game of Thrones, uh-huh. uh, um, he Game of Thrones show, one of the hosts, badmouth Chris Hardwick, was like, "Oh yeah, you know, you could just host everything like Chris Hardwick does." So then he, that guy who badmouthed Chris Hardwick, oh, had his own show for basing the same thing that Chris like Hardwick, a copy, like yeah, a bad, a bad, a bad, bad copy. So Chris Hardwick was like. Thanks for bad mouthing me and then doing your the same shit that uh, you know that I think he does a great job. I think he's a great host. Oh yeah. Like we're talking dead. I like him basically because of of him. Like if you had a boring host, it wouldn't be fun to watch. That's what happens with Game of Thrones. I just can't watch that. I I wanted to be excited. I was hoping that they yes gonna mimic and copy Talking Dead, but yep. in the Game of Thrones way. But they want to do their own thing. I'm, I don't know if it's copyrights or whatever, but it's it's just not the same thing. It's two boring dudes. Yeah, they tried to do the same thing with Sons of Anarchy. They had like an after show for that for some episodes, and it sucked. It was not good. Yeah. It was horrible. Like, I mean, you have to, you, you have, to have the lore to talk about the background, and I think Walking Dead had it. I'm not sure if Sons of Anarchy had that much. No. But, I mean, it's it's... You need to have, I think, characters there, like yep. actors. You need to have an audience to basically relate. And you don't have to have two boring guys talking about what we just exactly saw. You have to give us input, something different. Yeah, you need to the episode. break down the ca- Like in Talking Dead, they break down the characters. They talk about... How did this make you feel? Yeah. Or how you need to approach this? Since you were in this episode, what, what did you feel if you died or if you didn't? What did you feel... About this other person dying. Yeah, I don't need a resume. I don't need somebody to tell me exactly what I just saw. I agree. And that's my problem. But uh, that's one of the shows that I'm not excited about um, for next year. FYI. I'm excited about video games. They're coming out pretty soon. Do you have any other movies that you want to talk about? No. Or shows? No. I'm excited about Battlefield 1. World War 1. It looks it's pretty my, cool. It's my favorite era or war. I don't know if you can see that. I'd be just fighting in the trenches on the video game mm-hmm. would be kind of and cool. You, and they, I've been mean, playing the beta quite a bit, and they throw tear gas and chlorine gas. Mustard gas. Uh-huh. And, you do, and they, you hear, when they throw it, you hear, like, gas! And you need, to put your, you, have, you need to put your gas mask on, but when you do, you don't see quite as well. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, there's tanks, but the tanks, you know, all the weapons are not that great anyway. It's like, you can... Sniper rifle is, you can, but it's not going to happen as easy as sniping somebody in the middle of the map. Yep. It's, you have to more... They're primitive rifles. They're not advanced rifles Mm -hmm. like you would get in a normal modern warfare game. Yeah. Or even original, like, Call of Duty World War II game. Those guns are still better than what they were using in World War I. Like, for example, you can jump in a horse and you take your, you you take like a sword out. You don't even, you don't even have a gun with you. 
But it's a fun game. I enjoy it. It sucks that EA, EA does it. And Why does that suck? Because EA has the custom of giving you a game and then... Oh, you have to get all the fucking content. All, the, fu- all the maps, all yeah. the contact, all this. All, you're really paying for 60 bucks. The it, collection edition doesn't even come with the game. What? It's a statue. A statue like a... And it doesn't have the game? It does not have the game. So if you want to have the collector's edition, that I, I, I'm not a big fan of collector's edition, but if you want to have the collector's edition, you need to buy the game separately. What? That's huh. fucking stupid. And that's EA. I'm just. I love Bethesda doing the Pep Boy. Uh, no, do well. They the Pep Boy was the, cool, but the machine for Fallout, is. yeah. Uh-huh. But I also like they had a lot of DLCs that came out. But you got your money's worth with that content. My problem is with this. It's I want to. I want the game to be come out at full, and I feel like yeah. nowadays they partially do it. They just you give can pay me, sixty dollars for a game that's not full. Yeah, and then you have to get all the DLC. Like I want, like I want back in the day, like Diablo. Diablo, you got Diablo two does like its own game. And well, then, Diablo two did have expansions. Yeah, of. but that's like, they were good expansions. Yeah. They, they added to the game. It's not like. Oh, what is this shadow part here? That you, oh, if you pay the DLC, you get that guy. Oh, yeah. if you get the, this, you get that guy. There was a full game that ended, and then a year later or two, they brought the DLC that added two extra characters and an extra story. Yeah. Not like oh, here it is. Oh, you now you want to you DLC? Here's a new you know two maps. But oh well, something I also found was Pokemon. I'm a big Pokemon nerd. Uh, Suma, Sun and Moon are coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna get it the day of. Me too. I'm gonna get it. Well, I'm gonna order it from Amazon. I'm gonna get the Moon. What are you getting? The moon too. Yeah. But maybe you can the Moon. Maybe I get the Sun so we can see which one's better. Well, they're, they're both in the same game. It says what Pokemon you get versus what Pokemon I get. Yeah. I'm excited for the fr- uh, South Park game, the Fractured Butthole. The Fractured Butthole, which is a play on words. Fractured butt hole, not butt hole, but it's still yeah. And the cool thing is, is you get the, not only do you get that the new game, but you get the, the old one. one too. Stick of Truth. Yep. I played the Stick of Truth. That's a fun game. I never got to play it, so I'm gonna play both of them. Uh, I'm also ex- Injustice too. Have you played Injustice? Is that the fighting DC game? Yep. No. They, I know what it is, but I haven't it's played. a fun. It's a fun game. It's like Mortal Kombat, basically, and but it's DC and it has its own story. Oh, that's and cool. it's a really good story. It's basically the story goes like the Joker makes Superman, uh, you know, has this poison gas that Superman uh, breeds, and he makes he makes him think that there's a bomb there. So he gets the bomb and races up to the. To, to the extra stratosphere, sphere, but when he gets there and the sun hits him and he gets well, he realizes it's his slowest lane with his son, with his baby son, like pregnant baby son, and then he kills him because he basically lifts them up so she, they can't breathe and they die. So Superman goes in a rage and kills the Joker. He just blatantly murders him and he says, no more deaths, it's over. I'm ruling the world. So he becomes the ruler, Batman, Green Arrow and a few other play- characters side with Batman and say, no, you cannot do this. You need to stop. And Superman says, no. And Superman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash, all the characters are with Superman saying, like, yeah, well, we are saving more people. We cannot just put them back in jail and they come out and kill more and put them back in jail. But slowly, Superman becomes a, a villain, a terror. And Batman... Is this ha- the first one? That's the first story. And then now the, the second one is coming so basically, I'm not sure what's going to turn out, but basically how Batman defeats the evil Superman, because eventually Superman kills a Nightwing, he kills a Green Arrow, he kills like a whole bunch of people. Batman opens like a portal basically and brings Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman from another dimension in and, oh, they're, wow. a- and they're able to defeat the evil Superman. So I'm hoping that that evil Superman comes out and does something and the battle begins. It's a fun... I love the comic. And there's, there's, there's a comic about it. But I love the game too. Of course, being Spanish, I can have to say FIFA 17. I always get the FIFAs. I love them. It's, the, it's the same game, but with new shirts. <laughs> I'm excited for Honor, which is a... Oh, yeah. Which is a game where you get to have three different character classes. You can, uh, you get to be a samurai, a knight, or a viking. Ragnar? Yeah, Ragnar. 
Pretty excited for Vikings to come back. I don't think we mentioned that. But maybe there's next year. No, it comes out this fall, too. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. the second half. How can we forget Vikings? Yeah, Vikings. The second half of season four comes out this here in a couple weeks. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. That's going to be amazing. I'm pretty sure Ragnar might die. They say well, some... he has to die. His story. Yeah. His, well, the people who don't want to know the spoilers get... I mean, people who want to know the spoilers just go and Google Ragnar and read his life story. Yep. You would know what Check happens. Check it out. It's... Supposedly, it's historical, but they don't have really any proof that he was a real person. But I think isn't it because back there is just myth and well, story. Vikings, yes, Vikings but, didn't really keep a lot of good documentation of their of what they did. They care. They kept good documentation of their gods. You know, and, and Loki, said, uh, Thor. The Turkey. In Turkey, they have a nice Viking ones. Oh, they do. Oh, that's cool. No, you don't know. No. So, what's the big church over there in Constantinople? The big church, Constantinople. The big church. That yeah, I know. Yeah, the. There's a church there. Basically, there's this uh, runic, uh, like a runic, on the in the ground. And when the first when the people came in after the Viking, because the Vikings went there and sacked it, and they came back, they thought it was like you know because the movement of it, it was like just broken stuff, so they just left it there. But like hundreds, two thousand years later, like some guy who knows who was like a historian, he's like, that's not broken. That's a uh, it puts rag. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's here in Viking. A guy graffiti. The Viking graffiti. Oh in wow! The church That's cool. So and so. Imagine like Daniel was here. Yeah. <laughs> and we left away. But we don't know what he said. All right. Well, uh, is that is that it for a fall preview? You I think so. Else? All right. I just have one bit of news. Uh, the you know Robert Downey Jr. posted an Instagram photo today of. Him at lunch with John Farvo, which is a guy who created Iron Man 1 and 2. And he also was with the Russo brothers, who are ironically in the process of making Infinity War. Mm -hmm. And then Spider-Man himself was there also. He was? Yep. So, and the title was, oh, we're here talking about a new project. So, are they talking about... Spider-Man? Are they talking about... Iron Man 4, are they talking about Infinity War? You know, what are they talking about? A lot of people are thinking Iron Man 4, but I honestly think they're just talking about... I think they're talking about Infinity War. And that should be fun. Huh? Are you thinking Spider-Man's going to be part of the Infinity Wars? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty cool. Yep. They're all going to be part of it. So, upcoming events that we're going to talk about... Uh, we will also have a special podcast dedicated to Luke Cage once we finish watching that series, just because it's a show that you can binge watch. So we're going to go ahead and just make one episode and talk about that. Uh, Daniel's really looking forward to watching Westworld. Uh -huh. I'm going to have one episode. I'm not sure. It's going to be episodes one and two. Yeah. Yes, we can have a more broad spectrum to say, hey, this show is good. Maybe it's not so good. Uh, second week, we're going to be going to RenFest here in Kansas City, so we're going to be talking about our Renaissance Festival, yeah. see what people dressed up as, what we liked about it, what we didn't. Um, mm -hmm. That way, anybody ever wants to know about, oh, hey, are we going to, you know, what what's fun at a RenFest? What do you do? We're going to talk a little bit about that. Also, I'll say Doctor Strange, we're going to watch the movie, we will have a uh, discussion in like a couple of days afterwards, so... We're going to have a all one episode, well, almost a one episode of Walking Dead um, yeah. for the first episode, and then we'll touch it based on it about every episode. So that's true. That's and, pretty oh, much the next We completely weeks. forgot about Rogue One. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, man. We can't... Uh, Star... Uh, we're obviously stoked for Rogue One. We completely forgot about that. Yeah. But it's still, like, it's still, like pretty far away. Is, yeah. it, like, is it in November? That's so That's going to be our... Basically winter. Well, it will be winter because it comes out like a few days before Christmas. Uh huh. It's like so. last year, which any Star Wars movie before Christmas is our Christmas present. Exactly. I guess I hope it's good. I hope they keep with the good work and they forget about Jar Jar. Yeah. Fuck Jar Jar. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll, I'm Daniel Abraham. I'm Lewis Booth. And uh, we we'll see you next week. Cheers.